Hi, it's Mary Beth Decker with sacredgrove.com. I am an intuitive animal communicator, and I'm lucky enough to be here with Dr. Kosen uh, from the Veterinary Holistic Center. Let me just give you a little bit of information about Dr. Kosen. Thank you for being here today. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. So Dr. Kosen received his Doctor of Veterinary Medicine degree from the University of Missouri College of Veterinary Medicine. He's practiced in Nor Northern Virginia ever since. After practicing general small animal medicine for several years, he was certified in veterinary acupuncture in 1990. At the time, Dr. Kosen was the only veterinarian in Northern Virginia providing this service. Over the next few years, he trained in Chinese herbal medicine and homeopathy. The majority of his appointments were people coming for holistic medicine. Dr. Kosen joined South Paws Veterinary Specialists when they first opened in Springfield in 1995, and he headed the holistic medicine department for 19 years. To increase the availability of alternative therapies for small animals, Dr. Kosen opened the Veterinary Holistic Center in Northern Springfield, and we're still in Virginia, in September of 2015. So I'm so glad to be talking to you today, Dr. Kosen. Um, Tell me, again, in your own words, what is the Veterinary Holistic Center? Well, Mary Beth, thanks for having me. I, yeah. love, I love talking about the holistic medicine and certainly about the holistic center. So the Veterinary Holistic Center is in North Springfield. We're a practice that is limited to, uh, we'll call it holistic services, holistic medicine. We don't provide any conventional medical therapies, but focus on non-conventional medicines, alternative therapies, as they're called, or holistic medicines. Predominantly um, acupuncture therapy, um, Chinese herbal medicine, homeopathy. We have two veterinary chiropractors who have joined us. We have a massage therapist and rehab specialists. And of course, we have uh, an animal communicator, yourself, uh, <laughs> who has joined us as well. Um, and to continue to look for other services to add that can um, provide care for animals that maybe we can't do from a conventional medicine side. Okay. Well, I didn't want to forget because we both have mutual client with bunnies. So you see bunnies as well. And I, I'm wondering what other small animals you, you, know, you can help with. You know? Right. So since we don't actually do any diagnostic medicine here, and even when I was in general practice, I never did bunnies or exotics because that's, that's a whole nother world. Yeah. Um, we do see uh, some bunnies here for mobility problems. Generally, okay. they, again, their regular vet has helped them determine that's what's going on. Usually radiographs have been done. Even some, uh, one of our uh, clinics in our area can even do um, uh, CAT scans for, for bunnies and exotics, which is amazing. Uh, but radiographs, there many times are on medications as anti-inflammatories, um, but still they have some back tension too. And most of that's in the back end because they're bunnies. Yeah. They're, they're relying on those back legs. They don't walk so well. They need to hop. And when they walk, it really puts a strain on their back. So we have found also for those that are um, amenable to it, if you will, um, acupuncture in those cases have been very helpful. Um, I have a lead on a vet in the Midwest who uses herbal medicines with bunnies. So I need to reach out to her to see, is this appropriate with some of these cases? Maybe we can help an even broader array of, the, of that species, uh, of, that, of that type of animal to try to improve their health. But on the mobility, again, the vast majority improve. People will often ask, and here, this usually comes up with cats, is can you do acupuncture in cats? You can. And the answer is some. Oh, Depends some. On the cat. Okay. You know, they're cats after all. You do it only if they allow it. But again, minimal restraint, gentle handling, very small needles. I do work with a fair amount of cats, and they've done well too. Again, mobility problems predominantly, uh, back tension. As cats age, the most common thing we see is kidney disease. Interestingly, acupuncture can be very helpful for kidney disease in older cats. Ah. Number one, some of them are getting some back tension too. And I think part of the kidney disease syndrome is that the nerves to the kidney from the spinal cord are being pinched because of the back tension. Because our nerves don't just go to our muscles, they go to our organs. The organs are sending messages back to the spinal cord for integration. And that's how the system talks to itself is mainly through the nervous system. So relaxing the back muscles, particularly in the areas where the nerves come off the spinal cord, which is right over the kidney. We not only improve back end strength and comfort for some of these guys, but we actually have seen improved kidney function. They still have age-related kidney changes, so but we're getting improved function and then 
lower rate of decline. We're all on the downhill slide in the big picture, but we can slow down that rate of change. And doesn't everybody want that? You <laughs> you know? We know it's inevitable, but not you today. Want to do as well not as you tomorrow. Can, as long as you can. Right. Got it. You got it. Well, what else should would should we share? So one thing I did want to say about our center, it's a rather large size facility. So the clinic is really in the front part. We've got a large room in the back, um, a 1600 square foot space that trainers use. They do regular dog training, uh, but our therapists also use that as well. It's got a rubber floor. So they'll do some of the exercises back there. We've used that sometimes if an animal comes in and maybe we're trying to figure out which leg is laying. You can't always tell. Is it this side or that side? Is it all four, you know, what's happening there? And maybe helping to monitor improvement too, because that rubber floor gives them traction and yet it absorbs some of the shock. So we can kind of gate them in the back room there so they can, uh, we can see how they're moving. That's been helpful. We've had a few seminars here and speaking about the bunnies, we've done some as a, a fundraiser for the Ho House Rabbit Society. They've done bunny yoga here twice. <laughs> they actually have another event coming up in a few, in about a month or two where they'll use our space. Um, they have some yoga teachers that come in and then they, we close the gate and the, we release the bunnies and they're hopping around while people are getting the yoga session. It's a lot of fun and raises a lot of money for the House Rabbit Society. The other thing that we're looking to do is add more services here. Um, the only restriction is no conventional medicine. There are many wonderful conventional veterinarians in North Virginia, so we don't need to step on their toes. And by not providing those services, they see us as an extension of their practice. So they'll be more willing and have been much more willing to refer patients, to be supportive of patients when, when they hear that they've been here or if the client goes to the veterinarian and says, hey, what do you think about acupuncture? Or what do you think about herbal medicine? They may say, well, we don't offer that, but I've heard it can be helpful or we've seen patients that have improved and this is the place to go because we know they're doing good work. Um, there's still certainly a handful of other therapies I'd love to see adding added here, uh, mainly helping mobility, but emotional things like Tellington touch and craniosacral and maybe fixing it so we can have massage available every day or have um, chiropractic every day. Right now we're kind of restricted to two days a week because that's the availability of our veterinary chiropractors. So having as many services available as often uh, is beneficial because some people maybe can't come on a Monday when the chiropractor is here. Never. So they just miss out on chiropractic therapy um, because they just can't get here on those days. So as we expand those services, we make them more available for more pets in the Northern Virginia area. And we draw from almost as far south as Richmond and certainly into Maryland and DC, uh, not uncommonly west of us. And shockingly to me, you know, almost from the Eastern shore. I'm just amazed that people come that far. Um, there are other vets in the area providing individual services. So we certainly try to make a referral if somebody's gonna be a little bit closer because uh, of traffic concerns and time and so on. I, I tell folks, we're not turning you away. We're just trying to find out what's gonna work best for your pet so that you continue with these therapies. Um, and then that just spreads the word. Uh, as more people know, as more veterinarians know, acceptance increases, more animals get the benefits, and increases that in integrative approach so that animal health um, is better and they do better longer. Fantastic, thank you so much. And I've been really enjoying hearing about everything that uh, you, you and you and all the other therapists and, and uh, veterinarians can do. I love this. Um, thank you so much for taking the time out to do this. And um, folks, you know, it's, uh, the website is vhcnova.com, is that right? Yes, yep. Okay. We have information on all of our practitioners, a bit about each of the different services, who provides what service. Right. For some of our visiting veterinarians, such as the chiropractors and the massage therapists, usually they have contact info, they set their own appointments, they set their own agenda for the main acupuncture and physical rehab, um, people just call our main number. And that's all pretty clear on the website as well. Yeah, it is, it is. Okay, uh, thank, thank you so much, Dr. Coson. I appreciate you taking the time. Mary Beth, thanks for having me. I love talking about this, as you can tell. And it's just, we're okay. really happy having you with us here. I think it's a great service. And as you'd imagine, we may be about the only place you could work comfortably <laughs> so far. That's Many true. Guys, Thank you. I know. I, I feel it's a great privilege to be shocked. part of the team. They're, they're not shocked when they hear we have a communicator here. So that's, that's right. Wonderful. All right. All right. Thanks. Mm -hmm.